Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we're going to be looking at the orbital description for our 1x5 sigmotropic hydrogen shift. I should have put hydrogen here but I just put that just to clarify this particular reaction. And looking at this we actually looked at this particular mechanism on our previous video where we looked at how this reaction actually occurs in terms of hydrogen shifting in a conjugated system and also other R groups shifting in a conjugated system. Now, in here we're going to be looking at the most important thing, which is the molecular orbitals that are actually involved in this interesting reaction that is happening first before any other reaction can actually take place. Like for example, four plus two cycle addition reactions or other things that follow. So, looking at this particular compound, which is a cyclopenta dying, we actually have this interesting structure where four of the five carbons in here are actually p, p orbitals or you can actually say they are actually unsaturated but in this one here it is actually saturated. So let's number this in terms of how we can actually approach this particular question in terms of mechanism wise. So if we look at the mechanism wise we do have this particular structure and then we have our two hydrogens in here which are on this saturated carbon here so if we just label one of the hydrogen in focus what we see is that okay this carbon here is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5 so if you want to perform this particular 1 by 5 sigmotropic hydrogen shift what we do is you move this over here and then this actually performs its regular electrocyclic process in here and what we have as a result is this 1 by 5 hydrogen shift where our hydrogen 1 moves over from 1 to carbon 5. So what we have in this particular case is that we have our double bonds on the different positions now and here we have a hydrogen one position here and we have other hydrogen and this was the original hydrogen that is this one over there now one of the things that people have actually been asking is in various stereochemistries and stuff like that this process could actually favor one particular shift versus other types of shift so we're going to be looking at the one by five and see the molecular orbitals that will make way to see how the stereochemistry of a hydrogen positioning will actually influence everything surrounding this particular reaction. So let's go into this particular compound here and look at how we can actually position our orbitals. Now, firstly, looking at this particular saturated carbon, we do have sp3 carbons or carbon that is overlapping with an 1s with a 1s carbon a hydrogen atom so in this case what we have is the target hydrogen which is overlapping with this sp3 carbon and this is our hydrogens hydrogen 1s orbital and this overlap forms our homo so in this case this particular segment here is our homo state now everything else that is not that is not saturated like this was over here that is involved in this cyclo or uh, this electrocyclic process is actually by default our lumo so in this case we have four carbons that are actually unsaturated and they are the lumo in this case so if we go back to the four possible ways to actually draw our LUMO in terms of the lower to higher energy levels if we go like this one, two, three, four the first one which is the lowest is actually in phase with respect to each other second one has one node and while two are actually in phase the other ones are in the opposite direction with respect to the previous two. Now the third one we're going to be looking at is 
two nodes being added here where this part is out of phase with respect to that as shaded here but this is in phase with respect to that and this is out of phase with respect to that now our final one has three nodes in there where all the lobes are actually out of phase with respect to each other now in this particular case since there are actually four electrons in here then we're going to fill our four electrons in the two lowest energy levels here one two and then this our third path here is actually our lumo so this is what we're going to use in this particular case in this particular lumo part of our structure so if you have to go about this you just put that in there and what we have is our lumo this make this shaded this is out of phase with respect to that this is in phase with respect to that and this is out of phase with respect to that so in this particular case we can actually perform our 1 by 5 shift either in this direction or in that direction why is it actually performing in that particular direction or in this particular direction and just label this 1 to 5 or 1 to 5 the reason is because this has to be done in a superficial orbital overlap in there so in that particular case the hydrogen atom will slide across the top phase of the plane cyclopentadiene ring in a superficial manner which is really important in here because if it occurs in a superficial migration state then we can actually conclude that hey 1 by 5 sigmotropic hydrogen shift is actually a superficial migration process going from one carbon to the other carbon in terms of the hydrogen moving from the top part to the top part since this is shaded and that is shaded so that's about it for this particular video i hope you're able to understand this please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts hit the like share and subscribe and see you all on my next video have a good day peace love you all and be smart.